In this training series video, I'm going to walk you through setting permissions in Team Drive. Now, I just want to note that My Drive and Team Drive acts very differently in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up, here I am in My Drives and Team Drive. So I'm going to click Team Drives. That's selected. These are my Team Drives here. And I'm going to click on this test drive. So up here we'll see our members. So there's four members and I can click on that to see who, the, who those are and I can add members. Now, when I'm clicking on my members or adding members, you'll see over here on the right is member access. So there's a few options, full access, they can manage members and can upload, edit, delete all files. So pretty much they can do everything in the drive. Edit access can edit all files and upload new files. So that means in, in that one, they can't delete, they can't add new people to the group. Comment access, they can just add comments and view access so they can see the files. So what I want to explain here is that what you set on this very high level member access is what you will get for every folder and document within Team Drive. Now that being said, you can increase access for the user, but you can't lower the access for the user. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. So if everybody's set to full, for example, so everybody in here, you'll see next to their access, they're set to full. So if I wanna come into this test document and say, you know, I've been working on this document. Let's see who has access. I've been working on this document and I decided I'm not sure that I want this, um, this user right here to have edit access. I just want them to be able to comment or view on it. I cannot change that because that user has been given the high level access from the member level. So there's no way to change that within Drive. So when you set up your Drive, you really have to think about how you want, this is Team Drive, how you want your members to have access. So I'm gonna walk you through the opposite scenario. And here's our members. So let's go ahead and change members. I'm gonna change this person to view only. So that testing account that I really only want to have view only, for that one document, I'm gonna have to, I'm using them as an example and I'm gonna change them to view only. And in this kind of example, I'm gonna go into my document and I now want that person to be able to comment on the document. Now, if you remember before, I could not take away any any privileges and permissions. But if I go to share, who has access? So here's that user with view. I can give them additional access. So it works, um, it works so you can add access but you can't take it away from the base membership permission that you've set on the drive. Thank you so much, have a great day.